Hello everyone. Well, I got some happy mail. This is something that I ordered, so I guess you'd maybe call it kind of like a haul. But I wasn't too happy when I took it out of my mailbox. I got it from uh, Julie. Uh, she's on uh, Zibit, and I'll put her information down below. It's, uh, I think it's TPG Crafts. I'm not sure, or I, I'm not sure how she does that. Anyway, I'm, I, I was pretty upset when I saw this like this, Julie. It was all tore up. I just wanted to film it so that in case something is missing as I open it. All right, I'm going to take it back. Let y'all look at that while I film it. Just when a woman thinks her work is done, she becomes a grandmother. And this is a real cute area I have in one of my rooms. It's got some of my old dolls. So, uh... I just thought I'd film in here because we are kind of got a cloudy day and uh, that a beautiful scarf that that's sitting on. I just put that out the other day. Anyway, read to me, Mommy. Well, let me, oh, I might have went too fast. I have a lot of Indian dolls up here too. Let me show you all these. I should have painted this little chest. I have all these on. You know, it's so funny, but when uh, years ago I was busy taking paint off that people had put on, and now we're putting paint on again. So anyway, I kind of laugh at that. If Mama says no, call 1-800-GRANDMA. All these things are something that I've treasured for a good while, and I always like these little dolls. This is about all I have room for in this house, is these small ones. At my other home, I had all kinds of dolls, y'all. I have a lot of vintage dolls and beautiful dolls. Let me see if I can get those dolls back in focus again. There we go. I'm going to open this and then take it out and show y'all what I got here. I have another package coming from her. I bought some of these uh, beautiful uh, red uh, dollies that she's been selling. Oh my gosh, aren't these pretty? I thought they would come in handy in a maybe a Christmas journal. Oh, those are pretty, Julie. I really like that. So far, so good. And this beautiful, beautiful piece of lace. I like to not have ordered this. Oh my goodness, isn't that just gorgeous? Um, I just narrowly didn't order that. But oh, I'm so glad I did, Julie. That is so beautiful. I'm sure that came off of a curtain. I just love these old curtains, y'all. These vintage curtains. Aren't they just beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? Well, I dropped the scissors if you heard a little crash. Oh my goodness, Julie, that is just gorgeous. Oh, just love it. Oh my goodness, look at this one too. And this one, beautiful, beautiful. I think this was, one of these was the last piece of it. I'm so glad I bought this. Oh my goodness, what a beauty that is. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that just gorgeous? Got a touch of pink in it. And it's scalloped on both sides. This may be some kind of lace then. It's not very big though. I don't know. Sewed up on one end. Um, I got the wrong side showing. But isn't that just gorgeous? Let me show that again. Right like that. I'm just filming off of a little table. So got my iPad. Oh my. Let me get it out a little bit. Thank you, Jeezy. Julie, that is too pretty, pretty, pretty. And then some more laces. Some of this beautiful lace that she has. I just love this big lace. This is wide. 
Not that I don't have a lot of lace, but I saw this and I thought I could cut it up if I wanted to. I've been working in my craft room today, and oh my goodness, I would have filmed in there, but you know how the story goes, girls. We'll get it all out, and it's all over the table, and I just got this in the mail, so I thought I'd film it real quick. Here's another one. Isn't that just gorgeous? Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my goodness, these are so wide. Very, very pretty. Very pretty, Julie. I love going to Julie's store. It's just about as much fun as uh, running to some of my resale shops. And uh, how cute this is. I wanted some of this elastic. Uh, and she always puts everything so cute. Thank you. I'm going to use that for a template. Now, huh. this is that. Uh, she's got this is stretchable, but I needed something for a journal to shut it with and I thought this might work and be prettier than my hairband I've got on it. Oh that is beautiful. I like that Julie. I wish now I'd ordered more of it. Oh well you know me. I'll be back. And then I picked up these cards. She always has these most beautiful cards. Oh my gosh. Have you ever checked her these uh, vintage? I'm sure that's what they are but look at this one. Oh, they'll be so pretty in a journal. I just love that, Julie. I love that. My daughter loves uh, the, well, I can't even say the name of the, huh, my brain is gone again. Oh, would it come back, please? Peacocks. <laughs> there it went. All right. And this card, the, uh, peacock feather on the little uh, envelope. Isn't that pretty? Oh, Julie, those are so pretty. I like that. I like that. I haven't checked the uh, paper to make sure it's all here, but hopefully it is. And I saw this the other day that uh, somebody had, and I picked me up a piece of it because I said, oh my goodness. I'm not... I, I do like... Uh, lavender and uh, purple but uh, I don't decorate a lot with it but it is so pretty look you can just see right through that that must be kind of a vintage lace I'm sure it is isn't that so pretty oh my goodness that will be pretty over something too let's see how pretty it is over the see it over that lace so you can see it better isn't that just so pretty? I think she has some more of that. And as always, oh, I like that. I think I've seen that before. Creative is contagious. Pass it on. <laughs> yep. That's really true. Thank you. And here's a little thank you bag. She always includes a little thank you bag, which we love. Oh my goodness, yeah. I think I bought these from you, Julie. And so you've included one in this little bag. I'm sure you fix these little bags up and just add them. But I did buy some black. Uh, I think maybe I bought all you had. I'm wanting to work in something and I do want to use this black and uh, on uh, some of those old pictures and so that was perfect because I knew you had cut that off of something so I really like that oh that is too pretty too pretty Woo! check this out Ever, you know I have a box of gold stuff my goodness let me see if I can get that to show now gold is in, <laughs> and uh, I had uh, I found it the other day. I never worked with gold that much except during Christmas or something, and and I went now gold is in. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> I got a whole box full of stuff. This gold. All right. Thank you very much, Julie. I appreciate that, and uh, I'll have to check my. I think everything's here though. But I was just disappointed when I went to the mailbox and that bag was all torn open. 
Uh, no sense in that, but I think that kind of bag that you use, they are supposed to send them through the machines because they're supposed to be flat. Because I've shipped a lot of stuff, and uh, these priority flat envelopes, I don't think are supposed to be, uh, you know, packed real full. And they send them through a machine because that's the way they do. This lady at my uh, uh, post office tells me things like that. So I usually send in those uh, priority uh, uh padded bags now they're about oh maybe a little bit higher to ship with of course that means you'd have to go up on your shipping shipping but anyway all right i wish i wouldn't say all right i say that all the time i guess that's just the way i talk especially i guess when i'm talking to myself when doing these videos well let me see if i can show y'all some more of this pretty stuff because i'm fixing to close this thing out I collect old cameras, too. I used to, oh my goodness, you would not believe the things that I've collected through the past. This is just some of the little stuff that I kept. And if I had these shelves painted white, it would probably be a lot cuter. Because before, it was not sitting on things like this. I just, when I moved into this house, I just kind of set some things up. I used to have that little shelf there in my craft room, and... Then when I needed something to put some of my dolls on, which they were sitting on a white shelf, or, and, and I just brought this one in this room, and all I kept in the house was these little dolls. When I was a little girl, I always loved these little dolls, and my mother used to crochet and put... Uh, uh, she there's a crocheted one up there she'd crochet dresses and they'd buy these little dolls at the variety store or the five and ten cent store and she would uh, uh, take them and fix them up and I'd give them for birthday parties and guess what I was always invited to everybody's birthday party and you know what I don't remember getting very many of the dolls because she was so busy making them for my birthday parties that I went to but back in those days, we didn't have a lot of money, and things had to be homemade. And my mother was an excellent, excellent homemaker, homemaker, and homemade items. Uh, there's my first great grandson over there when he was a baby. He's eight years old now. But anyway, this little room here—it's not too small, but I have wicker furniture in it, and uh, I do enjoy it. All right. There I went again. I'm going to learn to try not to say that. Y'all have a good day and a good afternoon and a very wonderful weekend. And I will see y'all later. Bye-bye. And stay safe in Jesus, as I always say. Have a good uh, weekend. Bye-bye again.